This question gives us two samples which begin in an undeformed state. One has a circular cross-section, while the other has a rectangular cross-section. We're given the original dimensions, and then we're told that these samples are deformed, and we're given the deformed dimensions as well. We are then asked to calculate which of these two samples will be harder after the plastic deformation takes place, and give a rationale for why. We should begin by recognizing that hardness increases as cold working fraction increases. We can calculate percent cold working by recognizing it's the reduction in area. We have the initial area minus the deformed area divided by the initial area times 100 to give us a percent. For a circle, this means that we're taking pi r squared minus pi r squared the difference being the initial radius versus the deformed radius, multiplying it by 100%. So we find for our circular sample, we have 43.75% cold working. Our rectangular sample, however, is just going to be the two sides multiplied by each other for the area. Plugging in values for this, we find it is equal to 31.43%. Comparing then the circular sample, which had 43.75% cold working, to the rectangular sample, which only had 31.43, we can say that the circular sample is more cold worked, so it should be harder.